Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you an old favorite of yours and one of the greatest baseball broadcasters of all time, the old redhead, Walter Red Barber. Friends, welcome to the second game of the 1972 World Series. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the entry of the black athlete into Major League Baseball. Today we are about to honor the man Branch Rickey selected to lead the way, who set a brilliant example for all to follow. He is Hall of Famer Jackie Robinson. And first, I'd like to have you meet one of the greatest shortstops of all time and the team captain during Jackie's 10 superlative seasons with the Brooklyn Dodgers, Harold Pee Wee Reese. And here is the first black man to play in the American League. He had an outstanding career, mostly with the Cleveland Indians, beginning in the summer of 1947. Larry Doby. <laughs> Say hello to one of the great relief pitchers in Dodger history, a one-time teammate of Jackie's, Joe Black. And now the president of the Dodgers, Peter O'Malley. Also here to help honor Jackie, the president of the National League, Charles Chubb Feeney. The very lovely lady standing alongside Jackie is his wife, Rachel. Next, their daughter, Sharon. Their son, David. And their friend, Tish Hammock. And now to present baseball's award to Jackie Robinson. Here is the commissioner of baseball, Mr. Bui Kuhn. Thank you, Red. Jackie Robinson is something special. Special as an athlete, special as a husband and father, special as a human being. Baseball is proud of Jackie Robinson, who has dedicated himself to help others in the crusade against drug abuse. As most of you know, President Nixon named Jackie to his all-time all-star baseball team. Even more significant, the President singled out Jackie as the greatest all-round athlete he has ever seen. The President has requested me to read the following telegram. I am honored to do so. Here are the President's words. Baseball has known many moments of greatness in its long history, but none has been as significant or compelling as that April 15th afternoon, 25 years ago, when Jackie Robinson and eight other Dodgers took the field for his appearance at first base. Baseball had come of age. It opened its doors to a part of our society which had been wrongfully excluded from the major leagues. It is especially fitting that today, in the midst of baseball's most exciting event, the World Series, we pause to honor Jackie Robinson. His place among the superstars of baseball is already assured. Every fan knows of Jackie Robinson's accomplishments in professional ball. 
what is less well known but also of great importance is his work with the youth of America, especially in the field of drug abuse. I am sure that I can speak for every concerned parent in thanking him for this vital contribution to the lives and to the future of our young people. It is through such dedication and determination today, just as it was a quarter of a century ago, that lives are enriched and strengthened and our country made a better place for all. Signed, Richard Nixon. Jackie, your untiring efforts on behalf of drug prevention and drug rehabilitation among the nation's youth have been outstanding. In memory of your son, Jackie Robinson, Jr., you have dedicated yourself to helping young people, particularly at Daytop, a drug rehabilitation center in Connecticut, where Jackie, Jr., and Daytop gave so much to each other. I am pleased to have this opportunity to present to you this symbolic baseball honor. Jackie, with congratulations and thanks and all our good wishes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner. I would just like to say that I was really just a spoke in the wheel of the success that we had some 25 years ago. And personally want to say thank you to a great captain, a guy who was the leader of our ball club and who really set the pace in many, many areas. Pee Wee, thanks so much for being here today. And I would like to also say that I would be a real, real pleasure if Mr. Ricky could have been here with us today, but to the members of the family, my entire love and gratitude for the things that he's done over the years. And I also want to say how pleased I am that my family can be here this afternoon and to thank baseball for the tremendous uh, opportunities that it has presented to me and also for this thrilling afternoon. I'm extremely proud and pleased to be here this afternoon, but must admit I'm going to be tremendously more pleased and more proud when I look at that third base coaching line one day and see a black face managing in baseball. Thank you very much. Now presenting the champions of the American League, the or the land of the free and the home of the brave. A very fitting tribute to. Jackie Robinson. We were delighted to see Red Barber there. He broadcast here in Cincinnati for five years, 34 through 39, broadcast the first night game in the history of the major leagues. And then Red Barber moved to Brooklyn for 15 years where he became a household name and broadcast when Jackie Robinson was a rookie. That's why I said he was one of my heroes along with Mal Allen. Well, and they both contributed much to baseball and the World Series over the years. So we're about set now as the great Ohio State marching band clears the field and the second game of the 1972 World Series is about to get underway. We'll return in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 